do's and don'ts. Do's. Keep sign-up form simple. Reduce your sign-up forms to two fields, name and email address. You can always ask for more information once you engage with subscribers. Send welcome emails. You can keep your business top of mind by sending welcome emails to email subscribers right after they sign up. Segment your lists. Keep your email subscribers engaged until they convert into customers by segmenting them into different lists depending on which stage of the customer journey they are at. Use email automation. Email marketing automation will allow you to create customer journeys to nurture subscribers, keeping them engaged with your lists even after they convert. Use dynamic content. Analyze each subscriber's persona to tailor emails based on subscriber attributes such as gender, interests, and locations. Send timed emails. We recommend you to schedule follow-up emails to current subscribers to be sent at the times when they're most likely to open them according to their time zones. Link to sign-up offers on your most visited pages. Link sign-up forms to promote offers on some of the most visited pages on your site, including your home page and your about page. Split test campaign design and copy. Make sure to test two or more variations of the copy and design on your landing pages then optimize a definitive version that includes the best converting elements from each variation. Clean your mailing lists. There's no point in keeping leads that don't open your emails. Most of them won't even take the time to opt out. So, take a look at your subscriber reports to see who was not opening your emails and delete them from your lists. Monitor performance. Keep track of how well your current campaigns are converting website visitors into email subscribers so you can optimize your future campaigns better. Don'ts Don't go overboard with pop-ups. Don't bombard website visitors with sign-up pages and pop-ups left and right. Instead, use targeted sign-up forms that offer upgrades or offers related to the content on the page where visitors opt in. Don't buy lists. Contacts obtained from paid lists didn't opt in to receive your offers so they're very unlikely to open your emails, let alone convert. Don't import lists without permission. Importing lists from your social media databases or personal email contacts will easily get you flagged as a spammer, as none of those leads have consented to receiving your marketing emails. Don't send too many emails. Keep your subscribers in your lists by not sending too many emails in short periods of time which encourages opt-outs. Don't break anti-spam laws. Add an easy way to opt out of your list. Include a phone number and physical address to all your emails and ask new subscribers to double opt-in to avoid accidental sign-ups. Don't focus on sales. Never use sign-up pages to promote a direct sale or to promote a product with a price tag. Instead, use them to promote value and information that can help leads to solve a problem that can later lead to a sale. Don't be generic. Avoid using generic language to ask people to join your mailing lists. Instead, make sure to be specific about what people will get by giving you their email addresses, be it exclusive content access or periodic discounts. Don't demand immediacy. Avoid asking leads to sign up to your mailing lists right away without giving them a reason to do so. Instead, use urgency and scarcity along with an incentive to push leads to sign up instinctively. Don't discourage replies. Never use a do not reply address to get back to subscribers, as it will make you look like a business that is not interested in servicing their customers, which won't help you grow your lists. Don't be misleading. Don't promise something on your sign up pages that you don't plan on delivering. Don't offer valuable content if you're only going to mail ads or a bare-bones version of the promised content, as that will only put off your subscribers real fast.